Hello, hello everybody, how you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing another mystery pack, uh, pass or trash video. Uh, this time I decided to do some mystery packs that I've done before on this channel, but I kind of wanted to use them as an example of one of the better mystery packs out there to see kind of an example of what we're shooting for here. Um, these mystery packs are the MVP pack from, um, Unboxing King TV, or Unbox King TV. Um... He makes a hundred of each one, baseball and foot or basketball were not available, they were sold out. So I got three of the football packs. So I got 13, 14, and 15 out of a hundred. Um, they're completely random. I did not pick the numbers or anything like that. So in here, I believe there's eight to 10 cards, I think, and they're um, $10 each. So it's the lower, uh, kind of the lower end of mystery packs, but I think they're probably some of the better ones for the money. So. I'm going to go ahead and open some of these, see what we get, and we'll start off with number 13, and I'm not going to need my cutter, good. Alright. Alright, so starting off with number 13, we start this off here, we have a Kyler Murray Red Zone out of Absolute, and that is 2020 Absolute. Going to take my glasses off here so I can see. And then we have uh, Colin Johnson at a playoff, and that's a goal line. Uh, we have a rookies and stars, Isaiah Coltair, Colte. We have a Patrick Mahomes stargazing out of 2020 Absolute. We have a rookies and stars, Ed Benjamin, and that is out of 2020. We have a clear vision, uh, Gabriel Davis. Nice little acetate card there. Then we have an Unsung Heroes, Fred Warner, out of Absolute. We have a Deshaun Watson, uh, Call to Arms, out of Playoff. We have a Matt Ryan, MVP Contenders card. We have a Fantasy Flashback of LaDainian Tomlinson. Another Unsung Heroes, this is Tyler Higby. A Red Zone of Christian McCaffrey. Uh... Let's see, it looks like just a regular Panini rookie of Joshua Kelly. Couldn't really read the name there. Then we have a Jacob Eason, and this is a Diamond King. And this is a Diamond King, maybe a purple? I'm not sure. Then we have a Prestige, uh, uh, Malik Taylor. A playoff, the goal line, Joe Reed. A fantasy flashback of Boomer Esiason. Then we have another acetate card. This is a rate of rookie of Julian Blackman. And that is the 2020. Then we have a playoff goal line of J.K. Dobbins. A fantasy flashback of Tom Brady. And then we have an Antone Winfield Jr. And I believe this is probably going to be an autograph. And it is. It's a contender's draft tickets. Uh, 2020 Antonio Winfield Jr. Nice little sticker out of there. A uh, nice little rookie card in his uh, college uniform. So we'll go ahead and put him over here. So that's our first pack there. And here comes our second. Remember, these are $10 each. Um, hopefully, Undraft King puts out another series of these pretty soon. Um, I'd like to see... You know, I'd like I'd like to see different. I'd like to see the baseball and the basketball come back. All right, to start this off, we have a Jonathan Taylor out of Luminance, and that might be a purple parallel. I don't believe they're supposed to be purple like that. Then we have a Thunder and Lightning, and this is Raheem uh, Mossert and George Kittle at a playoff. Then we have a Game Face of Warren Sapp. That's out of Elite, and that's 2016. Then we have a C.D. Lamb rookie out of score, a 2020 score. Nice little C.D. Lamb there. Then we have a Cole Komet rookie out of Diamond Kings. Or those would be, I'm sorry, Gridiron Kings. Then we have a Justin Jefferson out of playoff rookie card. And then we have an Etched in Time, uh, Ricky Williams out of Elite. 
We have out of Panini Contenders a Deion Sanders Legendary Contenders card. Uh, we have a Chase Young rookie out of playoff. A uh, James Proche rookie also out of playoff. Uh, Jacob Eason rookie card out of Rookies and Stars. Nice little Jacob Eason there. Then we have that was a backwards card, so I saved those for last. We have a Randy Moss, a Legendary Contenders. We have a Pro Bowl, Russell Wilson, out of Mosaic. Another Thunder and Lightning of Patrick Mahomes and Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. So that's good. A nice little card out of playoff. We have a Patrick uh, Queen, rookie card out of Rookies and Stars. Then we have a Zach Moss, rookie card out of Rookies and Stars. Then we have a Jonathan Taylor, rookie rush, also out of Rookies and Stars. Nice little insert card there. Then we have a Christian uh, Hackle, Hackle, Hackenberg out of Elite. That may be a whoop, parallel there. In green, maybe. Then we have an Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott out of Red Zone. Nice little Cowboys card there. Then we have a Russell Wilson Stargazing out of Absolute. And then the backwards card was a Dominique a Dominique Alexander, and this is a also a sticker auto out of Elite. That's a little Dominique Alexander there. So we got a nice little, another nice little sticker auto. Alright. And we'll do number 15, see what we get in here. So like I said, so far, like I said, these are $10 a piece. I will put the a link to his uh, packs in the description. I don't know if there will be any more left. Um, if there are, great. If there's not, hopefully he'll put some more out. Maybe I'll try to contact him and see if he will. Um, and we'll just go from there. So, first one we have is a winning ticket of Michael Thomas, out of Contenders. And we have a call to arms, Drew, Ble Drew Brees, out of Playoff. Uh, Van Johnson, Rookie of the Year, out of Contenders. We have a Kirk Cousins, out of Contenders, MVP. We have a uh, round numbers of uh, Clavon Chasen and Patrick Queen. And that's out of Contenders. We have an Andrew Luck, out of Elite. And that again, that's 2016. Then we have a... Roger Staubach, Tony Romo, uh, Lineage, out of Elite. Nice little Cowboys card there. Then we have a clear view vision of Jerry Judy. Nice little rookie card. Then we have a Justin Jefferson rookie card out of Luminance. So I believe the other one was a parallel because it was, it was purple. This one's the silver. Then we have a Darrington Evans rookie card at a playoff. We have a Joshua Kelly rookie out of Rookies and Stars. We have a Chase Claypool uh, out of playoff. Nice little rookie card. We have a, a Deshaun Watson called arms. Jagan Rager rookie card. Uh, LaMichael Perrin, Perrin rookie. Uh, Damon Arnett rookie. We have a Justin Jefferson purple out of uh, Gridiron Kings. Then we have a Joshua Kelly prestige rookie card and then we have a Charles Haley uh, Deion Sanders Thunder and Lightning out of playoff nice little Cowboys card there so there you go we did not I'll go ahead and put that up there we did not get an autograph out of that one but that's okay so like I said we had the three packs of cards not bad um, like I said for ten dollars each these aren't bad uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments um, I will see let's see here rating these um um all these packs they were pretty much panini uh contenders and chronicles the different chronicles cards so for quality over quantity i would give these probably a six you didn't get a you know the chronicles is a nice mix in itself but they were all panini we didn't get any tops i think we got one score i'm sorry well and i think that was part of chronicles so um we got a couple elites out of 2016. Not great. I would have liked to see maybe some tops, maybe some other cards in there. 
uh, stuff like that. So over quality over quantity, I'm going to give it a, them a six. Uh, for price, these were ten dollars. I mean, for what they were, um, I don't think you're going to get very much better. I've seen maybe one or two packs that have gone for less money, and weren't one of them wasn't even close to as good. Uh, the other one was okay. It was probably around the same level or so. So I'm going to give these guys a nine for price. Possibilities. Um, it looks like it is possible or probable that you're going to get one autograph card out of each pack. The one we did not get an autograph card out of, um, I'm not, I'll have to go look back and see, but I'm not sure if you're guaranteed one or not. So it does look like you will get an autograph card and you will get some decent cards out of here, even though if they are all paninis, I'm going to go ahead and give them a seven for that because autographs are always nice. Then, variety. They're all Panini cards. They're all out of Contenders. They're all out of Chronicles. Um, they're all one year except for a couple 2016s um, out of Elite. But, of course, Chronicles, you get across the spectrum Panini cards. They're not too bad. Um, uh, you get a lot of inserts, a lot of rookies. You've gotten a couple autographs. So, I will give these guys a 7 for... Um, I'm sorry, a five for variety. Now, look and feel. So, these cards, again, came in a nice little bubble sleeve. A nice little sticker on them. Um, I, I kind of like the look of the sticker. They tell you how many they made and what number it is. Um, who made it, what series it is. They, he calls these these MVP packs. And you can tell by the little guy at the top whether it's baseball, football, or basketball. So in a little, very little bit, he actually puts in a good amount of information. So for this, for look and feel, I'm going to go ahead and give these guys an 8. Because I think he, you know, put printing out the stickers and stuff like that. Although it's not the best I've seen, he did go kind of the extra step to put these on his packs. So again, I'm going to give him an 8 for look and feel. So all together, he's got a 35, looks like. See, that's 15, 15, 30, yeah, 35. So he scored a, um, a little bit better than those first mystery packs we did. But again, these are on the cheaper side of what you can find mystery pack wise. And these were offered on our website. Um, Unbox King TV, or Unboxing King TV, offers these on his website. They're not on eBay as far as I know. So he always puts these up there and this was his, like I said, this was his first series. I'm hoping for a second or a third. But, like I said, I'll put the link on the description so you can maybe check these out if you still have some. And open them for yourself. So, in the comments, let me know how you think we did. Do you agree with my rating? Do you not agree with my rating? Um, if you don't agree, what would you rate them yourself? Um, you know, between uh, from 150 and the 5 ca you know, in the 5 categories, I got 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, and up to 50 points. So, as always, y'all have a great day. Say bye to the penguin and happy birthday.